what's good y'all it's boy ross back out again with another video man so we just finished watching monday night raw and overall it was an okay raw it was an okay go home show there were some decent matches on the show but the most noticeable thing is what was happening with cody rhodes and brock lesnar now we got to talk about this because uh, if you guys saw my reaction to it when it happened live uh yeah i was you know definitely perturbed and concerned with how they were making cody look out there so um before the show even really like starts cody is walking in the back with his nice little suit he's looking fresh looking dressed to impress as per usual and he proceeds to get attacked by brock lesnar uh brock throws him through um uh, an assortment of snacks on the it's like snacks on the table he throws him through the snacks the snacks and chips go everywhere the carnage then he throws them into multiple ladders and containers in the back like he's just beating the crap out of cody ran in this nice suit all black just getting all dirtied up he's literally has his foot on cody's neck the ultimate disrespect i'm like bro he's He's really giving my man the beats here, right? So he throws him up against one of those garage doors, those Bay Area doors where, you know, trucks drop deliveries off. So like the steel great doors or whatnot. So he throws him up against there. Cody has his hand on the door. He picks up a keg, Brock, and proceeds to slam the keg on Cody's arm. So now I know, okay, he's sending him to the gulags, right? He, he got sent to the gulags just off that move along. Cody selling it. It's like, ah, oh, man, this does not look good for my boy Cody. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm sure they're still going to have their segment. They're supposed to have a face-to-face -face segment later on in the show. Maybe Cody will get some type of revenge. So we get to, to that part of the show. And I got to talk about, before we get to that part, Mustafa Ali giving his promo about his upcoming match at Night of Champions to go against uh, Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. He's having this little interaction with Byron Saxon right in uh, in gorilla position right before the wrestlers get to the ring. You see Brock Lesnar come in the frame and Brock pretty much just confirms what we all know that Mustafa Ali is a JAG. And what I mean by that is he looks at Mustafa Ali interrupts him in the middle of his uh, interview and, and was like get a life kid and walked out into the to the arena i'm just like if you want to let people know to not take someone seriously but this is the best way to have your top talent pass by your lower tier talent who's having a match against another top talent for the intercontinental championship to let that talent know that they're a JAG by telling them to get a life kid and proceeds to move forward. So I'm like, oh, all right. So we confirm that Mustafa is definitely not winning that match this Saturday. And he's just still a JAG, no matter how many wins he consecutively gets under his belt. So Brock comes out there. He's like, well, looks like Cody won't be uh, facing me at night of champions. So if there's anybody willing to, to face me at night of champions you want to run the fade with brock lesnar come on down to this ring and we can run the fade or we can set up a match for night of champions let's go because cody's done cody comes out there with arm sling and an ice pack on the arm officials like no don't do it brock is just laughing because as a, 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 a just a logical human being, seeing someone that you already just beat up and injured their arm coming out to the ring to pretty much run the fade with you, knowing that they are at a disadvantage and you're still at 100%, you can only but laugh at that individual because you know truly they are not all the way sane up here. So Cody gets out there. And, they, they, you know, they kind of give him the rendition of when he tore his peck and he came out to the ring to face Seth Rollins and Hell in a Cell. This time they're going with that angle. And he has the ice pack. He takes off the sling, take off the ice pack. He's like, come on. And then Brock proceeds to beat the crap out of him. He didn't even have to do too much. He hit his arm. Cody sold the arm and then puts him immediately in the Kimura lock, as you expected. And Cody's just writhing in pain. And then, you know, in a sense, a storyline wise, he breaks his arm. He just, pop, just pops it. And now Cody's just writhing in pain, 
even more. And you just got to ask yourself, how did that make sense for Cody to do that? It just didn't make any sense. I'm going to get into my real feelings about this, but I'm just breaking down just how things went. So at that point, we go through the rest of the show or whatnot. The main event ends. Uh, Sammy and Kevin Owens and Matt Riddle, they win their match against Imperial or whatnot. And uh, there's like five minutes left in the show. Uh, earlier during the show, Adam Pierce is talking to someone on the phone. So we don't know who he's talking to. Well, we find out that it's Triple H that's who he's talking to because um, Cody has been denying medical help ever since that attack. He doesn't want no medical help, no one to look at his arm. He's not trying to have anyone check him out. So Triple H comes out there. What's going on, man? Like, why you want to let nobody check your arm out? What's, what's happening? And he's like, no, I don't need no one to check my arm out. I'm good. And it's basically Triple H is like, I think you know why you don't want no one to check your arm out. Because if we did, then it would probably be a good indication that it's probably broke. And I would have to call off the match for safety reasons or whatnot. And I would have to call off the match. And pretty much Cody is just like, nah, I want to fight. What would you do? You know, the cliche stuff. I got to fight. I got no, don't cancel the match. I'm going to fight. And, and that's pretty much how the show ended. It's just with Cody's like, no, I'm going to fight Triple H. I'm, don't cancel this. I'm going to fight Brock Lesnar at Night of Champions. I'm not going to be a coward. I'm not going to run away or whatever. And then it leaves with, you know, Triple H. Like, I, I admire you. I know. But, you know, I, I just think you should really let someone check it out. And he, Cody's still not letting them, anyone wanting to check him out. So he pats him on the on the kneecap and then like you know pats him on the shoulder and walks out and Cody's just there to think about what he's gonna do. And Night of Champions, and that's how the show ends. Now here's my problem. I, I know y'all want me to talk about this. I talked about it at length on the review. WWE, whatever reason, I don't know why, I don't understand it, but for whatever reason. They are just notoriously bad at booking competent, intelligent baby faces. Heels, they can, they, they, they allow heels to have all the smarts. But for whatever reason, when it comes to baby faces, they just make them incredibly dumb. What we just saw here, what we just saw happen to Cody makes it just doesn't make sense from a story standpoint if you're trying to get people to buy in to the fact that Cody has a chance here. We just saw a match where Cody had both working arms and he barely won. So you expect me to believe on just a regular sanctioned match, no, no type of weaponry involved, you expect me to believe that Cody is going to go out there with a goddamn sling on his arm and wrestle and beat Brock. If you want to squash him, just squash him already. Like, from a story standpoint, it just doesn't make sense. Your baby face is that in just incompetent in the brain to not think, you know what? We're going to have a segment out here. He attacked me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to okie doke him and come through to a crowd and attack him from behind with some type of weaponry. Something to even the odds. You don't have to have Brock Lesnar get bloodied up or anything, which it would be nice, but have him come out there with some type of equalizer because he's been getting attacked from behind all the time now from Brock. So it only makes sense to even it up. And I'm all for a baby face getting his, you know, his revenge. You don't have to wait for the pay-per-view if you were to do that. But once again, it just makes Cody look weak. It does. It makes him look weak. How are we supposed to care about somebody that stupidly walked out there with his, his arm in a sling and, and we're supposed to root for this guy? No, I'm not going to root for an idiot. That was dumb. I, that's all I'm saying. You can say I'm complaining, but no. If we're supposed to still buy into Cody being the one to ultimately dethrone Roman and finish his story, then it should only it it only makes sense if you try to book him as strong as you can against your strongest heels. And the best way to do that is to have him come out there 
with some type of brain and actually try to outsmart his opponent that he know is physically stronger than him. Try to outsmart him. This guy has been attacking you from behind for weeks. How about you hit him with his own move? How about you attack him from behind with a weapon to even the odds? Something. The fans will cheer for you if you're doing something that helps you as the babyface to advance, to overcome this obstacle. You got to use all your tools. And one of your tools is your brain. And they, they just... They wrote him to be a complete idiot to go out there to get his ass kicked the entire night. So now I'm supposed to buy in that he has a chance. If he wins the match, how does he win the match? This is why I was going for a stipulation. I think a stipulation would have been great. If you're going to go with this Brock is, has attacked him or whatever angle, Triple H say, all right, fine fine i'm gonna make this an unsanctioned match i'm not i'm not making this official as an unsanctioned match something to get around that and some no holds barred something to get around the fact that he is wrestling someone that is proficient at wrestling mainly just suplexing you at this point but you're wrestling someone and you're not even a hundred percent you're wrestling with a broken arm yes he did wrestle with a torn peck in one but that was against seth this is Brock Lesnar we're talking about. That's that's different. That's just different. So it's just, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what they're going to do. But on paper, it, it does not look like Cody's going to win. It doesn't. It just, it wouldn't make sense unless they did something where I guess the day of the show, Cody decides to finally attack the guy from behind in the backstage overseas that's that's the only thing i can think of he attacks him before the match that's the only thing that makes sense if he goes out there and don't attack him before the match then what's the point he's gonna get his ass kicked so what we're gonna set up another match and that's my fear that they may be setting up another match brock gets his win and then we get one more match at money in the bank maybe i don't know but overall it's just that's just my issue I'm, I'm okay with them having this match. I was hoping it was going to be with a stipulation involved or something different. But now we're going in with Cody pretty much being handicapped with one arm. I don't know how this is going to play out. I just wish they would book their baby faces to not be complete idiots and have a brain and know, hey, I probably shouldn't do this this way because uh, it's going to end bad. You can still have the heart of a champion without looking stupid. That's all I'm saying. So, But yeah, comment down below. Let me know. Did, am I the only one felt like if they just been booking Cody as this, this ultimate baby face that's here to do right. But, you know, it, it, it doesn't make sense when you're going against someone that will literally try to end your career. <laughs> like, am I the only one feels like they're booking cody to be just this just this non-thinking individual like he just loses brain cells when it comes to brock lesnar like am i the only one thinking that or just in baby faces in general at wwe they just don't make them competent like is it just me is it just me or do i do y'all feel like lately cody's been coming off like just a loser bro <laughs> he even though he beat brock He's still coming off like a loser at the end of the day. He makes great promos, dressed real nice. But when it comes to Brock Lesnar, he is making him... He's hes making him seem like, yeah, he can win, but I'm going to beat the crap out of him <laughs> outside of a pay-per-view. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe I'm tripping. So y'all let me know how y'all feel. I just... I'm, I, I haven't been feeling how they've been booking Cody after wrestlemania i'm just being honest with you i have not liked where they've been taking his story right now and hopefully they do something because i do feel like eventually the the fans are not going to be as sympathetic you want to try to make him be sympathetic but i think the fans will just get tired of seeing their favorite guy get beat the hell up every fucking week by one guy or every other week you know what i'm saying so i don't know we'll see comment down below let me know uh, appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K.
I will see y'all next time. Peace.